protection. He's taken care. And you're well protected. Praise God. Thank you, Sister Patsy. Praise God. Today's first Sunday, but no Lord Supper tonight. We are coming back for our baptism in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. Come on at everybody. Amen. Praise God. God is in the saving business. Praise God. Praise God. God is in the saving business. And I do not want to be left out of God's plan. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come on back as we celebrate. And anybody who wants to be baptized, come on back too. Praise God. Because they can't get to heaven without having on the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. It don't stop there. You got to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Hallelujah. Evidence of speaking in yes. tongues. But you don't stop there. Praise God. We got to live the life. Praise God. A holy and a righteous life to get to heaven. Because he told me no sin. No sin. No sin. Cannot enter there. If you're baptized, and I had the Holy Ghost, they can't get there. Hallelujah. And if you're baptized, and you had the Holy Ghost, and I live right, Hallelujah. pray that you're Hallelujah. not getting there either. Yeah. But let's just start the journey right. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And then we have a hope. Yeah. We need that hope. Amen? Because yeah. God, grace, and mercy yeah. is applied to our life oh every minute, every oh. second, every hour. Praise God. Yeah. Because that is the new mercy. I see, praise God. So when I think, praise God, that I've done something wrong, I pray that I run to Jesus and say, Lord, wash me, Jesus. I surrender all, praise God. I can't walk around every day with it because if I drop dead, I want to make it into heaven somehow. So the minute I find myself in trust I say, I'm going to go to Jesus and turn it all over and walk with a clean and a pure heart. Praise God. We're going to give the word of God, giving God thanks for everything. Pray my strength. Praise God for the enemy's fighting. Praise God, but I know that God has the victory. Praise God. Pray me up. Hold on my hand. Praise God. I don't want any distraction because God have a word for somebody. Today we are here for a word. Some soul prayer. When I pray, take what is yours, what is not yours, leave it. Praise God. Lord, I pray that God has become this morning that you may take preeminence. Subject every power to your power. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, yes, I pray. Amen. Let's turn our Bible to St. Luke chapter 17. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let me read just a few verses. Praise God. And read from verse 11. So they've gone over there, praise God. We find it say amen. amen. To verse 19. And it came to pass as he went into Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers who stood afar off. And they lifted up their voice and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go, show thyself unto the priest. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face and his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answered and said, Where were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? There are not one found that return to give glory to God, except the stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith had made thee whole. Praise God. If it's true for this topic today with verse 8, he said, Give glory to God. Give Glory to God. to God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's a well-known story. Praise God. We look at this today again. Praise God. 
And it's talking about Jesus. You know, when Jesus on earth, he traveled from place to place. And it's not the first time he went to Samaria. Because I remember the woman at the well, praise God, when she was out there drawing water, Jesus said, I must go through Samaria. So it's not the first miracle, the first time he went to Samaria. But once again, he was traveling on his journey, praise God. He was on the earth 33 years. Pray that he did a lot of healing, a lot of deliver, a lot of deliverance, a lot of turning of life, a lot of raising of dead. Praise God! But there was a need for him to go back to Samaria, his journey again to Galilee. And at the enter into Samaria, Samaria we know it wasn't a place where Jews lived; it was a mixed breed place. Pray that was not pure Jews. Praise God! And if you notice further on, he called the man stranger. He was not pure bread. Praise God! He was not pure. Praise God! But God came not for the righteous, but for the sinners, praise God. And God is still healing sinners today, praise God. Praise God. The world was saved, there was no need for God to come. And if we all were saved and going to heaven, there would be no need for churches, praise God. But there's a need, praise God. That's why Tabernacle is here, praise God. There's a need for souls in Hackings that are around the area to hear that Jesus saved, praise God, and satisfied. But not only that. But the apostolic way that you repent of your sin. Be baptized in Jesus' name. Speak in tongues by prayer. That get received the Holy Ghost by speaking in tongues as the initial evidence. And live a holy life. Live a life according to the word of God. Praise God. And as he came through, praise God, he saw, he met ten lepers. Ten men, praise God, that were lepers. And we you know back in the day, leprosy, you were a cast out. Praise God. And, and all the ten men had leprosy. They said, bird have a feather flock together. So you find the people who like to talk are together. The people who like to party are together. The people who like to gossip, gossip are together. The people who like to do certain things always congregate together. Praise God. And these ten men had something in common. The praise is by the praise of in the praise corner. The people who like to pray, you find them at Monday night service. The people who like Bible study, you find them at Bible class. Praise God, they stuck together because we have something and something in common. Amen? Let's worship the Lord. Praise God. So we're here to worship the Lord today. Praise God. For these men were all lepers and they knew their place. Praise God. They knew that they could not commune with the community because they were considered unclean. So they stood afar off where they put them, praise God. And they said that they were being it, praise God. And they know their place and they stay in their lane. Praise God, hallelujah. And But there, there came, praise God, when they lifted up their eyes from their place. I bet they weren't all complaining that why am I out here? Praise God, they had a need and praise God. And they wanted something. Maybe they heard about that Jesus was coming that way, praise God. And anywhere Jesus was, praise God, there would be deliverance. And there would be healing, praise God. I don't know, praise God, but they were out there together. And Jesus saw the need to come that way. And he told me that they lifted up their voice when they saw Jesus. And praise God, why did they lift up their voice? They had a need, praise God. And many times we come to the hopes of the Lord and we can't lift up our voices. Sometimes, praise God, they have to pump you and say, why don't you praise the Lord? Why don't you shout hallelujah? Why don't you give thanks? But my Bible told me you to enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. And everywhere in the Bible you see where people are delivered and when they need something from God, they open up their mouths and they lift up their voices. Children of God have to learn how to open up our mouth. Don't worry about who not open up their mouth. You know the glory of God. He told me that, praise God, when Jericho was shut up to the children of Israel, it wasn't just for a closed mouth. Hallelujah, brought down the wall of Jericho. It's not another closed mouth. It's going to bring us our blessing. We have to open up our mouth. He told me when the children of God marched around the wall of Jericho. Yes. 
praise God. So when they saw Jesus, they lifted up their voice and said what? Jesus! In the name of Jesus, people will be delivered. Hallelujah! Bones will be broken. Sick will be made healed and delivered in the name of Jesus. And they cried, Jesus! And not only did they say Jesus. I love what they said after that. Master. Master. They surrender. They, 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 they worship him. Praise God. When you call somebody master, you know that he's above. Yeah. Praise God. They call him master. Have mercy. Mercy on us. We need mercy from God. Hallelujah. Mercy is something that we don't not deserve, but God applies it to our life. God knows some of us don't deserve the mercy this morning. God knows some of us don't deserve anything. Hallelujah. But the Bible tells me that he looked beyond my fault. And he sees my need. And he applied mercy. Hallelujah. I don't walk in here. And act like we are privileged to walk through this door. And act like what we did talk about ourselves. If it was the mercy of God, I wouldn't be here. And you wouldn't be here. Hallelujah. It was the mercy of God. I was drunk there this week. Oh God, and the things that have happened. And I was driving on the highway. Praying God. And running around. I said, because half I'm gone. But mercy. It's not the mercy. Mercy. Mercy rulers, my life. I should have fallen my sin, praise God. But mercy, hallelujah, kept me until this time. Give God a praise for mercy. I'm telling you, I worship God. Because I don't know that we are living in mercy. I know who is keeping us, hallelujah. We take it because we all are that tell them the chip they would say. And we have our strength, hallelujah. If it wasn't the mercy of God, hallelujah. Because they're caused them out of the city. But she 
God don't see where you are. Don't believe that there's nothing that you have that is hidden from my God. One of them say, where should I go? If I go to the pit of hell, behold, you are there. God is there. God is there. You can hide from me because I have limited view. And if I take a because I can't see too far either. But God can see. He sees in every situation. And he addresses you in your situation. And he, he takes you out of your situation. But you got to know how to praise the Lord. You got to know how to lift him up. You got to know how to give him thanks. You got to know how to trust him. You got to know how to depend on him. Not my will, but thy will be done. Sometimes our will is not hindering us, yeah. but they put aside and they said, Master. Amen. Yeah. And when he saw them, he said, he's giving you directive. You know that God talked to you. Yes. Many times we tell you not to listen. Praise God, because of what do our own things, go our, go our own way, fly by our own might, and our own strength, and then we crash, we come back to Jesus. Hallelujah, tell me about it, somebody. Praise God, hallelujah. Am I speaking to somebody today? Praise God. But God said, go. Action. Make a move. Get to your situation. Make a change. Change your position. Go. Unto the priest. Yes. My God. Praise God. But they, they, these, praise God, leopard people knew that in the biblical law, praise God, they cannot go to the priest unless they are clean. Because the only time they could go to the priest was the one who had to validate that they were healed. Praise God. So they did it. So God said, Go. But in, in obedience, many of us lose our blessing because we're not obedient. Not obedient because they're going to turn around and act with Jesus. But Jesus, I can't go yet. I'm not healed. I don't my skin look the, the way it used to look. And they said I shouldn't go. But he said, Go. Yeah. Amen. When Jesus speaks, you move. Amen. Don't argue with Jesus. Praise God. And don't look sometimes Jesus speaks through the brother. Amen. But because you don't get on call the brother. And tell you go. Sometimes you talk to somebody. He said, "But to give you a word." But because I don't look qualified oh my God. by your standard oh that you have set, I'm not qualified. I'm not worthy. Hallelujah. But you look at the outward part. But God knows the heart. My Bible says God knows the very intent. And I remember the first miracle that he performed in his ministry is when he said, bring me some pot of water. And his mother said, whatever he say unto you, do it. Amen. I get they heard that story too. They heard that his wife said, whatever he say unto him, do it. So you know the word of God. So why sometimes we can't follow the word of God? Why sometimes we forgot to bring no manna from heaven again? No more manna not going to fall. It's all in the word of God. It's Remember now they were still leopard. He didn't tell me that they were healed. He said, go. Go in your mess. Go in your state. But just go. Then he said, well, I'm dirty. Go in your mess. Go in the very, somebody invited you to church. Oh, I can go to church. I don't have the right clothes. I don't have this. Jesus don't want to hear about the clothes. He just wanted to come. He said, go. And when you go, something's awaiting you. And then when you're going, praise God, like these ten lepers, they started to walk. Praise God. They walk in obedience. They walk in faith. They walk in believing. Many a time we don't get it from God. We have no faith, no obedience, and we have no belief. Praise God. But he told me, hallelujah. God said, start with this. 
own, we can do this. Just do it! Yes. And let God do the rest. And they started walking. And when they were walking, there were lepers still. And they were going to the priest to validate it. Tell me now, did you see faith in this? Yes. Jesus. Praise God. But the Bible told me because of obedience. Hey, Jesus. Sometimes we question too much. We question too much. Praise God. He says, um, Eli says, Samuel, to speak, Lord, thy servant, hear it. We need to learn to listen and stop 